What's up, Cockill peeps? Today is going to be a new tips tip. So, y'all, stay tuned. This is Tip. He's our Nigerian dwarf goat. He has accumulated a wealth of knowledge over his short lifespan, and he would love to pass on that knowledge on to you. He wants to call it Tips Tips. What's up guys, it is Jason and your boy Tip over here at Cog Hill and today I want to tell you about free weed barrier, free weed mat, free weed control, whatever you want to call it. But it's what we do here a lot of and it's how we control weeds here on our place and that is with cardboard. We use this stuff a lot mainly because it breaks down and turns into dirt and but the main reason is it's free you can find cardboard anywhere and it really really works it controls weeds as good as anything in my opinion out there ain't that right tip i mean i use this stuff in the garden i use this stuff in flower beds I use this stuff in around fruit trees or fruit bushes, anywhere that I think I'm going to have a weed problem. And we just throw cardboard there. We just break it down and just lay it out. Boom. It's flat. It lays out and it actually controls weeds very 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 well now a lot of times like in the flower beds and shrub beds and stuff like that we'll put mulch on top of it and that way you know you won't see cardboard laying around but in my garden i really don't care if you see the cardboard you'll see a lot of cardboard in my garden but you can find cardboard anywhere and let me give you some good places where you can find it and they'll just give it to you for free in two main places that has lots well three that has lots and lots of cardboard that they'll just give you number one are grocery stores that's where this comes from grocery stores get a lot of cardboard and more times than not they're just willing to give it to you because it just saves them trouble another place is car dealerships car dealerships get lots of cardboard back in their service and parts department they had and they'll just pile up on them and they'll be willing to give it to you and another great place for cardboard are furniture stores furniture stores again they unpack all that furniture and a lot of times theirs are huge pieces of cardboard and you can just cut it with a razor knife and and lay it out in your garden but let me go show you what it looks like now this is some that i put around the uh my big garden where I have rosemary planted and roses and stuff like that and um, you may have saw me do this in my market garden video I'll put a link to it right here and you can see how it's starting to break down and you can see I got cardboard down here this is around my big garden and, and um, around my rosemary around some rose bushes and this will really really control weeds here I had a really issue with weeds in this area and it goes all the way around all the way around those are rose bushes through there around the big garden my first initial plan around here was to put kind of a i call them the railroads the railroad size rocks they're bigger than your normal gravel and i was going to put that around here and then i wouldn't have to worry about replacing it but it dawned on me that cardboard's going to break down and when it breaks down the weeds are going to come through i would have to figure out how to get all those rocks back out the rocks would have been great because they'd been permanent and I wouldn't have to worry about mulch. But now I am think I'm just going to put mulch. I'll just get leaves and pine straw, whatever I can find, and just put on top of it. And then when that breaks down, I can just put more cardboard down and just repeat the cycle. And then it'll just build my soil up because all that stuff's just going to compost the cardboard and the mulch, then more cardboard and the mulch. You get the picture. 
And I also found what really loves cardboard, and that is earthworms. Earthworms freaking love cardboard. And I may be just crazy, but wherever I have cardboard, there's a million earthworms. I think it just holds moisture in real good, and it breaks down, and they just love eating this stuff is all I can figure. I love that spring is on the way. Here in my raised bed garden, I have lots of cardboard in here. This is where I really started using cardboard the most was in here because I always had weeds in here and I wanted a way to, to stop the weeds. And the cardboard has been excellent for that. I mean, it has really, 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 really worked well. Let me show you one of my raised beds. Now this one's had cardboard in it. It's starting to break down. Let me show you what it looks like. Oh, look at there. But the cardboard is starting to break down. You can even barely see it's in there and it's starting to rain in here. Imagine that. Look, but look at all the earthworms. Here's some cardboard here that in this bed is starting to break down. And, but you can see what it looks like. And it just breaks down and turns into dirt. Also like right here, you can see I got my cilantro and rose. What I did was is, is I planted my seeds and I ran cardboard down the sides. And so my rows are clean. There's not really hardly any weed pressure here. <laughs> here, and just my cilantro is, is uh, cilantro looks awesome by the way. But, but yeah, you can use it in rows. That's, I'm doing this a lot now with cardboard is using it in rows and keeping that weed pressure off my plants. But let me show you just the opposite. This is my collar bed. You can see my Alabama blue collards. You cannot hardly see them because of all this weeds. And I did not put the cardboard in here. Live and learn. <laughs> I still have, you know, great collard greens and we're, we're using and eating them, but I got all this weed pressure. The only thing that I would tell y'all to watch for for cardboard, there's, there's kind of two things. Number one is the ones that's got staples in it. Watch the staples. Just be careful. I don't want you putting it somewhere that uh, you may step on one or it may give you a flat tire, that kind of thing. And also, don't use the cardboard that's wax coated. You'll see it. You'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, it just doesn't break down. And I just stay away from those. Just regular, typical cardboard. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tips Tips, and I hope y'all give cardboard a try. I mean, it's free, it's, it's available anywhere and everywhere, and yeah, and it works. It works, and it turns into compost. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, give me and your boy Tip a like. Share it with your friends and family. And as always, guys, y'all have a wonderful day. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Tell them, Tip, y'all be good. Oh, boy.